Y'all, Kanye seems to be having a good laugh at Kim Kardashian's expense. Remember when he recently filed for a trademark for Bianca with the quote, I miss you when I wake up before you? Well, it appears that Kim has now seemingly responded and in the craziest way possible, relaunching color cosmetics and fragrances. Now, ever since KKW was rebranded to skin, people were wondering if that was it for Kim and if she would stick to skincare products. Apparently not, as she dropped a hint in her latest Instagram video. In the video, Kim read out loud some of the comments demanding for the return of her color cosmetics and fragrances. One of the comments she highlighted read, Kim, we need the makeup. We are dying out here. Kim, where is your makeup and fragrance? I'm dying for it. The world has been begging you. Can we get a release date on makeup though? Following that, then the screen changed to show a date of January 26th, 2024, something that many critics have pointed out either means that's when her new makeup collection will be launching or that's when we'll get more details because in the caption, Kim wrote, we got the hint, stay tuned for a big announcement. Interestingly, this comes after Kanye also filed for a trademark for his new wife Bianca Sensori with the same quote he posted on her birthday. Coincidence? Either way, this seems like a big misstep on Kim's part. Her previous ventures have been struggling to stay afloat and now she wants to jump back into the cosmetics game? Is she okay? Because let's be real here, relaunching a failed makeup line is not going to be an easy fit. It takes a lot of work, dedication and most importantly, a solid understanding of the market and consumer needs. Isn't Kim biting off more than she can chew? It's really getting hard to take her seriously. And don't get me wrong, I understand she has a passion for beauty and fashion but sometimes it's better to focus on one thing and do it really well rather than spreading yourself too thin. I mean, if skims and skin are struggling, don't you agree it's time to put more effort into those brands instead of trying to revive a, a failed one? And let's not forget that Kim's KKW beauty line had issues with product quality and inclusivity in the past. Many of us remember while it initially gained attention and had some success, it eventually faced criticism and failed to make a lasting impact. So it's quite intriguing that Kim is considering revisiting this realm. It's even hard to imagine that she'll be able to deliver a successful cosmetics line this time round. To make matters worse, she's going to be in competition with Kanye and Bianca, two brains that were behind her successful schemes and skin lines. I understand her desire to prove herself as a savvy businesswoman who has accomplished a lot, but there is no denying she's definitely in for some stiff competition. And let's be honest, she can't expect to be in the lead, especially when going going up against her Kanye West. In fact, I can't help but think that Kim is joking with this one. I mean, I mean, has she seen what Kanye can accomplish? The man knows how to create bars and sell out products in minutes. And it's not just about competition though. Kanye and his team have a wealth of experience, connections and resources that Kim simply can't match. And let's not forget about the recent controversy surrounding Kanye despite it all. His Yeezy Pod project has recently received re rev reviews and even caught the attention of some A-list celebrities. So does Kim really think she can top that? I highly doubt that. Sure, she may be a savvy businesswoman, but her expertise lies more in drama and controversies than in the innovative industry. In this case, I think Kanye and his wife Bianca have the upper hand. It'll be like snatching candy from a toddler for Kanye to outdo Kim in this arena. And here's the other thing I believe in Kim. Unlike Kanye and Bianca has failed to fully grasp the significance of what's at stake here. You see, gone are the days when fans blindly purchased anything associated with a celebrity solely because it's their fame. In today's world, fans, especially those from the Gen Z era, are incredibly discerning about their choices. They know exactly what they want and are not willing to settle for anything less. It doesn't matter if you're Kim Kardashian or not, they demand quality and not just any quality, but good quality. So with Kim's new plans, she really needs to step up her game, considering she no longer has Kanye to do her homework. The days of relying solely on her name and fame are long gone. She must understand that the market has evolved and consumers are now more focused on the actual product itself. In this Gen Z era, in this Gen Z era, Gen Z, in this Gen Z era, in this Gen Z era, fans are well informed and have access to a number of options. They are knowledgeable about ingredients, sustainability, inclusivity, and ethical practices.
They want products that align with their values and meet their high standards. If Kim fails to deliver on these fronts, her plans of relaunching Kala Cosmetics could quickly turn into her biggest nightmare. A lackluster relaunch could quickly become a public relations disaster. Kim needs to ensure that her products not only meet but exceed the expectations of her discerning fan base. Otherwise, her Gen Z consumers won't hesitate to voice their disappointment and move on to brands that meet their expectations and we all know how brutal that can be. Anywho, speaking of those, they already shared their opinions and well, Kim really has a lot to prove because the initial feedback is nothing short of me. As one user shared, with a Kardashian brand, quality or not, I would rather spend my money elsewhere. Plenty of good quality brands available, even some great ones. Isn't this like the third time? Girl, give up. She doesn't even do her own makeup. What does she know about makeup? Girl has her hands in too many baskets. Another added, I'm really surprised she's even bothering to resurrect it. What's the point? Mario does her makeup and uses his products for the for the most part and his stuff is actually good trying desperately to stay relevant she's the last person i would buy from the previous formulas were boring and too warm they bring nothing worth my dollars the third user ironically claimed i'm actually excited for kim's color cosmetics to come back so that kim can experience a major lack of sales and see that no one cares Zara anymore no one wants her products no one wants to give them any money no one wants to look like her slowly people are starting to see them relevant reality of how they are all losing money so desperately increasing the effect to pilot their fans for money they want this evil empire of using fans money to pay for surgery to then lie to fans and say it was blank product to make more money from fans the last user also jokingly slammed yay you guys i'm grabbing another cash cow since nobody asked i'm hyping myself up yay me i'm sure someone's buying from this family or else how do they still have their millions my question is why kylie just launched and the makeup looks like alibaba generic makeup i'll pass sorry not sorry kim now if you ask me at the end of the day, I think Kim should prioritize and focus on what's working for her. She's a successful businesswoman, yes, but even the best of us can't do it all. But anyway, what do you think about Kim's decision to jump back into the cosmetics game? Will Kim's relaunch be a success or will it be another disappointment? Will Kanye and Bianca's ventures overshadow her? We'd love to hear from you. We'd love a we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to stay tuned for our next video. Red light bed <laughs> in my office.